Hello and welcome back. Now, let's talk about the scientific process. Science is a dynamic process of questioning, discovering, and changing previous ideas based on what is learned. Scientific ideas are developed with reasoning and tested against observations. Scientists assess and question each other's work in a critical process called peer review. Our understanding of the universe has changed over time. New information can cause us to rethink what we know and reevaluate how we classify objects in order to better understand them. New ideas and perspectives can come from questioning a theory or seeing where a classification breaks down. So our understanding of the universe is an evolving process. The ancient Greeks counted our moon and the sun as planets, and our planet Earth was not considered as a planet, but rather was thought to be the central object around which all the other celestial objects orbited. It was until the scientific revolution in the 16th century by Nikola Copernicus and others that the idea of placing the sun at the center of the known universe was finally accepted by the scientific community and with, the, uh, and with our planet Earth revolving around the sun and not the opposite. And by the 17th century, astronomers with the invention of the telescope realized that the sun was the celestial object around which all the planets, including Earth, orbit, and that our moon is not a planet, but a satellite moon of Earth. Pluto, discovered in 1930s, was first identified as the ninth planet. But Pluto is much smaller than the planet Mercury and is even smaller than some of the planetary moons. Pluto kept its planetary status throughout the 1980s and things began to change in the 1990s with some new discoveries. So advances in telescope led to better observations and improved detection of very small, very distant objects. In the early 1990s, astronomers began finding numerous icy objects orbiting the sun in a donut-shaped region called the Kuiper Belt. With the discovery of the Kuiper Belt and its thousands of icy bodies known as Kuiper Belt Objects, or KBOs, it was proposed that it is more useful to think of Pluto as the biggest KBO instead of a planet. The debate about planets. In 2005, a team of astronomers announced that they had found a 10th planet. It was a KBO similar in size to Pluto, and people began to wonder, what is a planet anyway? The answer to that question didn't seem so self-evident. And as it turns out, there are plenty of disagreements about it. The International Astronomical Union, IAU, a worldwide organization of astronomers, took on the challenge of classifying the newly found KBO, later named Eris. And in 2006, the IAU passed a resolution that defined planets and established a new category called dwarf planets. And today, many objects, including Pluto, are the dwarf planets recognized by the IAU. There may be another hundred dwarf planets in the solar system and hundreds more in and just outside the Kuiper belt. So the debate and discoveries still continue. Scientists did not unanimously agree with these definitions. As our knowledge expands, the more complex the universe appears. Scientists have found hundreds of extrasolar planets or exoplanets outside our solar system. They may be billions of exoplanets in our Milky Way galaxy alone. Whether or not our definitions of planets can be applied to these newly found objects remains to be seen. So, in addition, scientists believe that there are more planets than stars in our galaxy. And as of today, there are eight planets 
orbiting our star, the sun. Four planets out of these eight are rocky planets, which are Mercury, Venus, Earth, and Mars. Two planets out of these eight are considered to be gas giant planets, which are Jupiter and Saturn. And the other two planets are considered to be ice giant planet, which are Uranus and Neptune. And beyond Neptune, a new class of small objects called dwarf planets reign, including longtime favorite Pluto. Thousands more planets have been discovered beyond our solar system. Scientists call them exoplanet, exo means from outside. The key difference between a planet and a dwarf planet is the kind of objects that share its orbit around the sun. Pluto, for example, has not cleared its orbit of similar objects, while the planet Earth and Jupiter have no similarly sized objects of the same path around the sun. Like planets, dwarf planets are generally round and orbit the sun. And there are thousands of dwarf planets waiting to be discovered beyond Neptune. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.